Hello traders and welcome to this week's market outlook from Exness. I'm Michael Stark, Financial Content Manager at Exness, and in this video I'm going to be looking at a possible idea for a trade over the next few days, some of the narratives that are driving that possible movement and what traders who were to take the position would need to be aware of in terms of economic data and others. But before that, let's look back at the performance of last week's idea. Last week, the idea was a potential buy for platinum against the US dollar from the area of around $940, with a target around $960 to $970. The idea wasn't triggered, but it's possible that it could still be active, so we'll continue to monitor it over the next few days. Now for this week's idea, the possible trade could be a buy for Alibaba Group stock. We can see that the price of Alibaba has moved down to reach a significant new low in the area around $76 and could potentially bounce from there given the clear oversold situation. The initial target for that movement could be the area around $83.50, which is the 50-day moving average from Bollinger Bands, although it's possible after that that the price could continue up and reach a stretch target near the top of the channel around $87.50 to $88. Now some of the primary narratives that are driving that potential move up by Alibaba Baba is the overall oversold situation and general negativity in Chinese stock markets. We can see that the spread between the S&P 500 and the Hang Seng has reached quite high, 0.3. It's overbought, it's outside the upper deviation of Bollinger Bands, so usually in that situation we might expect it to move down through the Hang Seng recovering and the S&P 500 possibly correcting. Overall, Alibaba's financials are quite strong. We can see that although it slightly missed the consensus for EPS last quarter, this quarter EPS is expected to go up and overall the company's financials remain sound. This comes with the backdrop of generally reasonably positive GDP data from China recently. Traders who were to take this position would need to be aware primarily of PMI data from China in the next couple of days. Firstly, there's NBS PMI for manufacturing and non-manufacturing on Thursday, followed by Kaixin manufacturing PMI early on Friday morning. These critical releases could have an impact on most Chinese shares, including Alibaba. So in summary, the idea for a possible trade this week is a buy for Alibaba. Alibaba Group stock, it might see the price move up to around 83.50 and possibly after this initial target, stretch targets could be further up. Primary narrative behind that is the divergence, the spread between the S&P 500 and the Hang Seng, although it's also some degree of focus on financials of Alibaba and on the generally reasonably good performance of China's economy recently. Primary factors to be monitoring are PMI from China on Thursday and Friday. Please remember this is just an idea for a trade, it's not a guarantee of success or it's not a signal you should always do your own research and manage risk.